Hello, Internet. Welcome to the show. Thank you for joining us. A pitcher hits 104.6 miles per hour. My name is Darren. That's AJ. And this is the DNA Sports Recap. Roll the intro. How's it going, AJ? Doing good, man. Doing good. Busy week. How about you? Busy, busy week. And, you know, it seems like every time we sit down to do this, the set completely changes. So, um, <laughs> yes. If you guys got any input, uh, feel free. We'd love to hear what you think of our ch- ever-changing set. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll, we will listen to it and just directly uh, dismiss it. So <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, we, want, we want to be comfortable on set, guys. Yeah, okay? we're just trying to be comfy. We're, we're here for a while. Uh, moving right along here, let's go ahead and wrap things up today with a little bit of uh, MLB talk, shall we? Absolutely. All right. So um, the only real thing I have on the M- on the MLB MLB is what happened on Wednesday night. This was uh, Minnesota Twins versus the New York Giants in a 7-1 win, uh, win with the Twins beating uh, the Giants. And it's a fellow by the name of Matt Hogan. He's a reliever for uh, the Minnesota Twins. He threw the hardest pitch that was thrown this year so far. Do you yep. know how hard that was? 104.6 miles per hour. Do you understand how fast that really is? Yeah. I, I did a little bit of research on this. Okay. Um, at 104.6 miles per hour, but you know that breaks down to 154 feet per second. At that speed, 393 milliseconds. Yeah, that's like less than to a reach second. the plate. Yeah. yeah. So you got less than a quarter of a second to make a decision on whether to swing or not. Um, so it takes about 75 to 100 milliseconds just to process the pitch being seen. Like that's your brain speed, right? And then it takes you about 100 to 150 milliseconds to actually process like swinging. So that gives you 0.125 seconds to decide whether that is what kind of pitch it is, where it's going to be. At that speed, it is almost impossible to hit the ball because you have one tenth of a second wow. to make a decision on where that ball is going to be. That's insane, dude. That is insane. So less than 1.125 seconds. 0.125 seconds is, ha- is how, how long, long you have to determine A, if it's going to be a strike, B, if you're going to swing, and C, where it's going to where be. Where you're going to be swinging. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Where the pitch is going, really. Did you know that, that 105 is calculated it is almost as fast as the human arm can throw a ball. We're getting close. Yeah, We're it's like, close. it's like almost our 105. They say is is about as hard as humanly possible to throw a baseball. The strike was 104.6 miles an hour that he threw it on. The very next pitch that he threw was a hundred, another 104 mile an hour pitch, which is which was. The Did you see the guy swinging at it, dude? He had no idea what to do. No, you can't do anything with that. <laughs> you can't do anything with that. Uh, sorry, the pitchers that are uh, 104 plus over the whole pitch tracking era: Rolls Chapman, Jordan Hicks, Joe Enduran, Ryan Heasley, uh, Mauricio Cabrera, Camilo Duval, Tehran Guerrero, and Nafilia Feliz. I'm not saying the last one right, but. Yeah. Those are all the players over 104 miles an hour. Oh, that's those are the eight pitchers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's tracking back to 2008 where they started actually pitch tracking. Do you know who I believe throws harder than all of them? Who? Nolan Ryan. Oh yeah. I don't think they had the technology to actually track how hard he was throwing. So do you know? Do you know where they're gunning it at right now? Probably directly behind the plate. I'm assuming. They're gunning it three quarters of the way to home plate. Is where they're picking up the ball to scan for it. Oh, okay. In Nolan Ryan's day, they were picking it up as it crossed the plate. Is when they were picking up the speed of the ball. So. He was losing a lot on airspeed um, oh, yeah. when he was throwing back then. And he was throwing pretty hard back then. So I think one, I watched a video on Utah where they analyzed uh, his pitch and tried to get based off of camera footage to see how fast yeah. he was throwing, off of how it was, they said he was throwing 107 miles an hour if it was recorded today. He was my favorite pitcher when I was a kid, dude. I'm like, good grief, man. I mean, there's no way to prove, conclusively prove that, but. Yeah. He could probably still throw a mid 90s fastball to this day. Oh, unfortunately, no, I don't think he can. <laughs> Have you seen him? I have seen him. I believe him. I believe in Nolan. He's thrown a couple of opening day pitches. They said he's still in like the 80s. No, he he, he, he bounced. <laughs> no. Yeah, look it up. Look up the last Fact time. Fact check that, YouTube. Look at the last Fact time Randy Jensen threw out the first pitch. He was Randy, in. who the hell's Randy Jensen? That's what I want to know. Randy Johnson could definitely still throw Randy that fast version. <laughs> I don't know who Randy Jansen is. Okay. But Nolan Ryan, I have faith in. Yeah. Hey, correct me if I'm wrong. If he threw out a first pitch recently and it did hit 80 miles an hour, 
Nolan Ryan slander is not allowed on the DNA Sports Recap. Tell him, Internet. Nolan. What? I told you. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> I told Which is you. the one I saw where you bounced it like three no, times. No, dude. I'm telling you. Dude can still slang that thing. <laughs> Absolutely, man. I, and that's like, I mean, he probably warmed up a few times before throwing that, but I... Oh, everybody does. Yeah. You, you can see him on the side of the field warming up with uh, the backup catcher before they go out, so... Um, yeah, I definitely, definitely believe that. Yeah, 60, 85 miles an hour. <laughs> it's 63 years old. 2010. Nice job. Okay, 2010. So yeah. it's 13 years. He's in his 70s now. Okay, maybe he, maybe he can't throw 85 anymore. Yeah. But I'm saying the last first pitch he had was pretty impressive. Yes, the last first pitch he's had that, according to that, maybe he's, maybe I've seen one after. I don't know. I feel like I've seen one after that. He's still like. Threw a pretty decent fastball. Decent in there. fastball. Yeah. Nice. Well, once again, folks, uh, thank you for turning in uh, to this episode of the DNA Sports Recap. Keep in mind, if you are watching one of our videos, the full episode in its entirety will be available on YouTube underneath playlists, podcasts. That's where the full podcast episode will be. You can also find us anywhere on audio where you find your podcasts. Yep. And if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you like it, share it, subscribe to it, keep commenting. Uh, we love interacting with you guys. Well, once again, folks, uh, my name is Darren. That is AJ. And this has been the DNA Sports Recap. Till next time. I couldn't remember. I was like, do I say something else? Like, share, subscribe, comment, keep gauging.